Hi guys! So I have um, one more video of specialty kind of candles for you um, that I have from my collection. So I'll go ahead and just jump right on in. Um, this first one that I have is the gooey cinnamon bun candle. And um, actually, so <laughs> my nose is extremely sensitive to cinnamon. I have learned since ordering things from Victoria. I didn't, I love cinnamon flavored things. I like cinnamon toast and cinnamon toast crunch cereal. Um, you know, like cinnamon donuts to eat and cinnamon buns like Cinnabon and the ones you make at home like from Pillsbury. Um, big red gum, like any cinnamon gum really. I, I really enjoy all those things. However, my nose extremely sensitive to cinnamon um, and I have to say I think this gooey cinnamon bun candle is the least offensive of most of the cinnamons like it's not quite as overpowering it leans more towards the bakery side of cinnamon than say Cinnabon or cinnamon donuts I smell a slight cinnamon scent um, I've obviously I've had this for a year so cute I could not buy it because it's in the same jar as the uh, comfort candle so it's a 16 ounce jar and um, it has like a giant glazed cinnamon bun in there and um, let's see if I can find one I can't really see that one these little cinnamon in but um, in beds cinnamon bun in beds around the sides and crumbles and it's single wicked I think I'm gonna get around to burning this one maybe I will make sure that my doors and windows are open just in case it gets intense. I've been kind of scared of it, but I like this candle a lot more than I did when I first got it. When I first got it, it was a year ago almost when they very first came out, these um, gooey cinnamon bun candles. I did not care for it. Um, it was just too overwhelming cinnamon. It gave me a headache just sniffing it, but now it's not it's not as bad. I haven't found anybody that really wants this. I've asked some friends and I think they're all kind of sensitive to cinnamon as well. But um, I'll get around to burning that guy. I mean, it's, it's very cute. If you enjoy cinnamon scents, which I know a lot of Victoria's customers do, then you will really, really love that candle. It's so cute. And um, like I said, out of all of her cinnamon scents, that's the least offensive to my nose. Um, but again, I just have learned that I am very, very sensitive to the scent of cinnamon, even though I like to eat it. Um, this next one is the hot cocoa and marshmallows candle, and it's like a, <laughs> look, it's in this gorgeous, sweet, cute mug, and, um, it has little marshmallows on top. I just think this is the cutest thing ever, and I believe that it's in um, Ray's Hot Cocoa and Marshmallow scent, which I ended up, I think, getting as a free scent at the same time as I ordered this candle, but interestingly enough, before I started ordering with Victoria, I hated chocolate scents. Now, I'm the biggest chocolate lover in the world. I love chocolate candy, chocolate cake, hot chocolate, you know, mocha is like chocolate coffee, but um, the chocolate scented things like lip balms from, you know, Bonnie Bell, like lip smackers, and uh, other candles from other companies I had tried have that really fake chocolate scent, and, sorry, cat hair. I didn't care, I don't care for most chocolate scented things. This is really good. I have learned that I like most of Victoria's chocolate scents, even though I've been extremely trepidatious about trying them. Um, I tried Fudge Brownies first since it was so popular on the message board um, and, and in review videos and I really love that one and I ordered this one next. I love it. I love it. And I haven't melted it yet or burned it because I just think it's so cute. But I will. I will. I'll get around to it when I feel like chocolate in my life. Um, the problem is, some people say, like, when they burn really good smelling food candles, then, like, it, you know, like, gives them 
the satisfaction of almost eating something as opposed to actually eating them and getting the calories. When I smell really good smelling food things like chocolate candles, it makes me want to eat. <laughs> so, like it makes me want to go get some hot chocolate or eat a brownie or something. So, it makes me hungry. I can only really burn these kind of scents if I've already like eaten dinner and I'm full. Then I don't really want to go eat a brownie. But if I'm hungry and I burn this, it's all over. I'm going to go eat some junk. So that's a really good candle. I would definitely suggest picking that up. And I um, can't remember how many ounces it is. Maybe like eight or ten. I want to say maybe ten ounces. But um, it's a nice sized mug. You can definitely use the mug afterwards for your yummy hot chocolate that you make yourself or whatever. I like containers like that that um, have a purpose. Okay, this next one I have is Strawberry Angel Food Cake. And I burned this one, um, oh, wait a minute, several times. I really like it. So um, obviously it was like, white on the bottom and pink on the top, although they've started to kind of melt together as I've burned the candle down. And um, right now I'm kind of smelling the wick, like the burnedness, but it smells very good. The strawberry is a really yummy scent. Um, it started to mix a little bit with the angel food cake, and I really like it. I haven't had angel food cake prior to um, having this candle and um, this is like one of those little specialty candles that why not get it because I think it's like nine dollars and it's a nine ounce jar um, the nine ounces are probably like one of my least favorite jars actually because um, you know I like this candle but in comparison to the eight ounce and the eight ounce are cheaper again this is my in my head but they have the same like size scent opening, like scent door, so like you get um, the same scent throw out of these two jars. However, um, this one, because it's kind of like a square shape, it's almost harder, like it takes longer for it to um, form a full melt pool, and I feel like it burns through the candle, it's like shorter, and I feel like I get more hours of burn out of this 8 ounce, even though obviously 9 ounces is more wax. Um, it's obviously a personal preference. I prefer 8 ounce candles. I've had a, a 9 ounce candle pack as well as, as this guy, but um, the candle itself is, is really good. It's just not my favorite jar, but some people really like love that 9 ounce jar. I'd say try and you know, instead of investing in a sampler pack not knowing, like I did not knowing if you like the 8 or the 9 ounce better, get this thing because it's just, it's a single candle um, that you can't water in a sampler pack. Because um, a sampler pack is a better deal, but um, if you like fruity, like strawberry scents and cake, get that. It's really yummy. Um, I got my very first black label candle in February. I ordered Harvey Wallbanker. Um, these had been out for a while. I think they came out in the fall, like maybe September or October. And I had really held off on ordering these for a very long time um, because I was just nervous about making a 14 ounce candle investment in something that I hadn't been able to try in a smaller like set shot or, you know, something like that. Um, and I ordered Harvey Wallbanger because it sounded really every like everything in the scent description sounded like something that I would like, and um, it had said that it was a like a very strong candle, and um, if you like sweet things, you'd like this. And I love sweet things. Um, a lot of them, the scent descriptions kind of scare me because they will have like patchouli or um, anise, which is like black licorice or like a lot of strong spice, which like I mentioned, I'm very um, sensitive to cinnamon as well. It's pretty much ever their spice, like it just gives me a headache, spicy things. Um, and this was one of the ones that wasn't spicy. But um, when I got it, I couldn't smell anything. And um, 
I sat it aside and to let it cure. And I even messaged Victoria on Facebook and asked her, like, am I really smelling anything from my Harvey wall banger? Is my nose broken? Or, like, do I just need to let it cure for a long time? She said, like, let it cure for two weeks and then light it up. It really comes alive when it's lit. And, like, I've had this since my February 1st order came in, which has been about a month and a half, maybe, like, a month and three weeks, something like that. I've burnt it once. Um, I'm not getting much of anything from this. I mean, it, it smells kind of sweet and not, not a bakery sweet kind of way and not really even in a pink sugar perfume kind of way. Sweet and like almost like you know, these times are very complex, so it's sweet and almost like the way that you would think of like a like a crystallized sugar way. You know, they're those like rock candy that come on like a stick. Um, you might find it at a candy shop or like sometimes they even come on um, like a little string from the sweet factory. And it's like literally just like crystallized sugar. That's what I pick up most from this candle. I have a very large space, studio, vaulted ceilings, like a stairway behind me, down to the first floor. This candle didn't give me um, the scent throw that I was hoping for. I couldn't smell it at all. And I waited like at least two, two and a half weeks after I got it to light it. So I haven't lit it again. I'm just hoping like gonna put it away for like maybe a year because that's worked for some of my other candles and try it again I'm just not getting much of anything from this maybe if I had a smaller space it would be fine like if I had a little um, kitchen where I burn candles or a smaller bedroom or a bathroom um, I don't have like I don't have a bathtub so I don't see any point in like burning a candle in my, ba my bathroom like while I take a five-minute shower or brush my teeth or something um, so, I don't, I don't hate this candle by any means. I just wasn't really getting what I wanted from it, which is kind of why I was worried about ordering these. But um, I'm gonna try a couple of the other black labels. I think 007's been getting a lot of love. It sounds like something I might like. Although it scared me for a little while because it said it was a spa scent and I'm allergic to lavender. And a lot of spa scents have lavender and I immediately like had written that one off at first. Um, I think bonsai was the other one. It was like a Japanese rice pudding, which kind of sounded good. So I'm going to try those either um, later this month or in May, maybe. Um, get a couple of those other black labels. Um, as far as comparison of this jar, I was, you know, like I said, not disappointed, but um, I thought it was going to be bigger because this is 14 ounce and the um, two treats, I believe, are 12 ounce. However, they're very similar kind of shape jars. This one's, I think, more tapered. Um, so it has, the 14 ounce has a bigger base. Um, these are just very like straight up and down, not tapered at all. But the um, mouth is, I don't know if you look at this. It fits inside with some wiggle room of this 12 ounce sweet treat jar. And it just seems, smaller, even though I know it's two ounces more of wax. Um, I wish it had a little bit of bigger mouth or opening, but I really do, sorry, like this lid that it has, like it's um, got like squishy plastic and it really like fits on and gives a snug fit on the candle. Um, I would definitely try at least one black label if you haven't yet. Um, if you have a smaller space than I do, the uh, Harvey wall banger might work out better um, for you. But there's really, there's nothing in this candle that I think somebody would say, ew. It, and when I say it smells like sugar, like in rock candies, it's not like an overwhelming scent. Like I know some people are overwhelmed by some of the really sickly sweet scents. They think, I don't think, I love them. I think sweet is sweet, but um, 
I can't imagine that candle being overwhelming for anybody. Uh, okay, this next one, candle I have is like the love of mine, and um, it's Victoria's Love Potion Number no. Nine candle. I haven't been able to bring myself to burn this. Um, this is literally my all-time favorite scent from Victoria. I think it's so good. Um, I have this in soaps by Melissa and perfume. I'm gonna get it in the shave cream too. It is um, a very fruity scent. It has definitely some berries going on there. And I feel like I'm getting a tiny bit of melon, I think. It smells like something melony, like juice. Yet I'm not sure if it's like watermelon or honeydew or cantaloupe or what, but. Um, it's in the same vein as Best Friends. If you like Best Friends, I think you will adore this. And, um, it's, it's, to me, Best Friends would be like, and I think I've said this before, um, and maybe my CV Bath and Body video, but Best Friends to me would be like the little sister, and this would be like the grown-up sexy sister. And this is cute. It's like a grainy book, but it reminds me of like a little, like, Aladdin genie lamp type thing. I don't know why you know, obviously it's a gravy boat, but, um, it's a massage oil candle, and <coughs> frankly, it doesn't hold that much wax, but it's double wicked, and what you would do is you light it, and, um, it obviously makes a pool of wax. Once you think it's enough, like, oil to use for massage or lotion or whatever, you blow out the candle wicks, I mean, the, the candle flames, um, because you don't want to burn yourself and either you can dip your fingers into the warmed wax or pour it out and then whatever's left over will harden and, and you know be ready for next time I haven't burned it yet I haven't really like had an opportunity for like a massage lately or you know a real use for this and I love this scent so much but you know this is kind of like probably the most pricey candle that Victoria sells as far as like ounces of wax per dollar and um, she doesn't say how many ounces are in here I don't even know if she knows how many ounces are in here but it's not very many and I know it's because I'm sure that it's because the uh, the soy massage lotion wax is much more expensive per ounce than the wax that she uses for scent shots and the wax that she uses for candles um, so, I mean, I kind of just want to save this for when I'm going to use it. I don't just want to burn it for the sake of burning it like I do other candles. But it smells so good. I would die if she made this, um, scent available in her regular line. I'd buy, like, a glitter cube and everything else known to me. I'd probably buy, like, ten candles in this scent just so I could have them everywhere. Um, it's so good. It's really, really good. Okay. I ordered three candles um, this last month from Victoria's uh, Love Victoria Bake Shop line, which is her new line. And this very first one, so cute. It's the Banana Coconut Cream Dream. And I think that this one's also the Banana Coconut Cream Pie scent, similarly to the Comfort Candle Banana Coconut Cha Cha. That's what it smells like to me. They smell the same. It's really good. Um, I believe these are 18 ounces of wax. And I've had Love Victoria glitter candles before that I've totally burned through and used up. Um, they have a really, they're 18 ounces I think. They have a really large mouth. Um, so you get a very good scent throw. They're double wicked. They have with like brown wax on the bottom, yellow, like it reminds me of like a banana pudding, um, the like vanilla wafer in beds, and there's marshmallows on top, and a scoop of like whipped cream, basically, and chocolate sprinkles. I wish I could eat this. It's really good. Um, if you like banana, 
get this. It's, uh, some people are kind of turned off by the scent because it has the name, the word coconut in it. To me personally, with this scent, they're, um, you just really smell the, the, the banana and like the, like the cream pie type of thing. And the coconut really doesn't smell like coconut per se. To me, it smells more just creamy. Like it really makes, because I've had banana cream pie and I've had coconut cream pie and I've had banana coconut cream pie. And um, it's not like, a, some of her bananas, I mean her coconut scents are more like coconut sunscreen. Like that's what the plain coconut scent smells like to me is more like a coconut tanning oil or sunscreen. This, it's just like a very creamy, um, creamy, creamy banana scent. It's yummy, yummy. I just wish I had a spoon and could eat it. Now this one I ordered because it's so, so cute. And um, it's the Blackberry Cobbler Delight. And it's brown on the bottom, purple on top. It has these really cute little Blackberry embeds. And um, again, they're like shaped just like blackberries. And I'm amazed because like they look like real berries. They're so amazing. And then a scoop of ice cream on top. And these little pearl embeds and gold sprinkles, double wicked. It's really good. I think that this top layer is her um, berry, blackberry cobbler. And then down here it's just the straight blackberry scent, but I could be wrong. Either way, it smells really good. Um, it smells very similar to me to the blueberry cobbler, just obviously different kind of berry, but it's good. I think, I mean, honestly, if I had to choose, I'd pick, I think I prefer blueberry cobbler to blackberry slightly, but it's, they're both really good. And, um, this last one I ordered um, is the red, white, and blueberry, and it's in the scent Blueberry Patch. I had never smelled Blueberry Patch prior to ordering this candle, so it was kind of a gamble, but I had liked Blueberry Cheesecake and Blueberry Cornbread and Blueberry uh, Cobbler, so I feel good. I like the blueberry, and this is a little different of a blueberry than those bakery scents. This is not a bakery scent, but I do like it. I had I had to get it. Um, it's white on the bottom and blue on the top. It has the red, white, and blue stars in bed and like little blueberries, whipped wax on the top, and um, red and blue sprinkles. Um, I'll tell you why I had to get this. Even, even if it was like a scent I hated, my mom love the 4th of July. She was, well, she was just a very patriotic woman. Like, um, she was just an extreme, extremely, extremely patriotic woman. She, uh, was very into politics and, um, you know, she always supported the troops and, uh, 4th of July and Christmas were like the two most important days of the year for her. And, um, every year on the 4th of July, um, even after I went away to college and like graduated and was living on my own uh, and working full time, every 4th of July, um, I would go home to visit her and um, the two of us would go out and there was like a, well, when we were little, there was like a kids parade and um, like a kids carnival. But then once I grew, grew older, they went to a neighboring town and they have like a parade kind, but like not like a kids parade. and like um, a street fair, and then we'd always watch the fireworks. It was like the mom and me thing that we did every year for 4th of July. And um, so when I saw this candle, it just reminded me of, it, it just makes me think of my mom and those um, wonderful memories that we have of, of doing that for like years. Um, we just, you know, it just makes me think of her and it smells really good. I just don't think I'll have the heart to burn this for quite a while, but um, it makes me think of my mom and it makes me smile. So I just, I had to buy it. It's really good. If you haven't tried Blueberry Patch, you have to try it, but it's good. Um, buy it. 
so that's really all I have for you and um, I'm gonna have to rush off to my cake decorating class now um, maybe next weekend I'll be able to get through my eight ounce candles maybe some set shots something like that but thank you for watching and um, I will see you soon bye